All right, guys. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of G Dog Trading. Ripping cards. Got a uh, package from a guy that I do uh, buy a lot of auctions from on uh, Twitter. Colorado to Carolina, I think it's called. Sorry if I gave you an improper shout out there, brother. We're gonna rip this open, and we're gonna see what uh, we bid on and won. I don't even remember to be honest. So let's make sure we're not cutting the bonus card he threw in there for me in half. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh, I think, well, that's right. One of these, I forgot, is a graded card. Let's get this masking tape off of here and get this bad boy going. Let's give the people what they want. I think we'll save that uh, bad boy for the end. Masking tape, the preferred choice of all card sailors in the United States. I actually, if you guys are watching this, I'll give you a little bonus tip on tape to use. I probably shouldn't be telling you this because it's one of my little secrets, but look for 3M Micropore paper tape. Less abrasive than masking tape, even though masking tape isn't abrasive. Still less abrasive. And if a car does contact it, nothing's going to happen to it. Masking tape can still here and there hurt cards. Although, no offense to that wrapping job, that was, that was textbook right there. That was good. This guy's been doing it a long time. He knows what he's doing. So look, let's see here what we want here. Look at this. Luis Robert rookie card. I call him Robert. You can call it Luis Robert if you want. Robert sounds better. Look at that. It's my first one, actually, believe it or not. <clears throat> I'm going to put that baby right there on that stand for the show. Oh, my first one and my second one, Luis Robert, GQ rookie. Boy, did I do good on this last auction run. Drew Rasmussen, I don't remember even bidding on him, but I got his rookie card there. Pretty cool. Emmett Smith, one of the running back goats, super goatee. I love these old Fleer 91s. These cards, you know, just before everything turned into the to the junk wax era. The last of the vintage, you know, 89, 90, 91 for some of them. Emmett's, Emmett's awesome. Let's turn this over here. <clears throat> Elliot Ramos, Bowman Chrome. Oh, I forgot all about this. The centering is off, but I don't give a shit. Look at that. Thurman Thomas, rookie. Dude, I had a great, I don't know. You, I, I have trouble winning his auctions, but I want a bunch of them, dude, for good cards. Kind of forgot about some of these. We'll throw this guy over here in the background. All these stands I got are so bad. There we go. <clears throat> Paul Monitor, sele 94 Select. Look at this guy. That's sick, dude. MVP one. <clears throat> Here it is. Shuhai Otani rookie card. Look at this, guys. This is probably was probably it's definitely the most I ever spent on one of his auctions. But he just had he was just pitching some fire. <laughs> pun intended and uh, I forget the exact variation this one is but it's worth way more than I paid for it there's a few bunch of variations of the same thing <clears throat> but wow look at that that's going right there and then I just love these cards Doc Gooden Captain Crunch absolutely amazing card I've got the Jose Canseco also I'm gonna kind of throw that collection together Speaking of Jose Canseco, my favorite player that I PC'd when I grew up is the 1987 Topps Gold Cup. Hands down, my favorite card of his. 
my collection of Conseco, McGuire, and Henderson um, is lost in my mom's storage up in Flagstaff. She says it's still there. I'm convinced it's lost. So I started my PC again. Look at this bad boy, 1986 top. Throwback Jackie Robinson for top's 35th anniversary. That's an awesome card. Check out Jackie Robinson sometime, you guys. On the Look at the back, you know. Check out his stats and everything. That's a great story. Brett Ripien, rookie card. Some kind of cracked ice refractor. You got me. I forget exactly what it is, but I'll have to look that up again later. I, I PC Broncos. So... That's a PC pickup. My car, my cards are always either PC or for sale. I, I buy for both. Get a lot of good deals on Twitter. People sell cards for nothing. So I do buy a lot of inventory on Twitter as well. <clears throat> but I never sell it on Twitter. I don't sell on Twitter. I don't shit where I eat. Jacob Eason, rookie. Colts. Shiny tiny. Eno Benjamin. Don't remember bidding on that one. I must have just bid once and won. But that's a pretty card. Look at that. I wish I could keep track like some of you guys do of all these variations in there. But I can't. Oh, yeah. Talk about a classic. Eric Davis, 1987 Tops. This is my favorite set of cards ever for baseball, by the way. These wood borders are just so classic. Doesn't hurt when it's an Eric Davis either. DJ Moore Prism, those are always nice. The 2020 Prisms are one of, their, one of my favorite designs, actually, for um, that goes across all sports. Keenan Allen, not too shabby. Great receiver. And then a Jonathan Allen from the Washington Commanders. And that, I don't know what that is. Orange cracked ice, probably. Orange Reflecty Smashy Super Love Prism. Daryl Taylor. It's like some kind of, I think that's a blue disco. Optic. <clears throat> that is a pretty card. Wish it was like LeBron James or something, but that's a pretty card. Boom. Is this going to be 1990, I believe? That is, yes, that is, or 1991 Pro Set. Joe Montana, you guys. This, is, this was the undisputed goat for you young kids until Brady came along and got into about halfway through his career. It was Joe Montana, hands down. Nobody would argue with you. And then it was Manning for a while. And, you know, and then, of course, Brady. Look at this little shiny montage card. Look at this little Alvin Kamara mosaic refractor type deal here. Either, well, I think Tops is usually the refractors. They're called the Silver Hollow. And then end it with a bang. 89 record breaker, Cal Ripken Jr. What a sweet card. Ripken belts 20 home run, eighth straight season. And he played. He, uh, he has the record for most consecutive games. He was just, he's just a baller. I actually got an autograph card of his. I'm going to send him to SGC. We'll do a review on that. And uh, here we go. <clears throat> Last but definitely not least. <laughs> How do I not even remember? I'm sure you guys can relate. You don't even remember getting some of this stuff. Lewis Robert, 2020 Tops Museum Collection in a nine. And that is a beaut. That is a beaut. That is awesome. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Keep checking in on my feed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video of everything I rip. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.